Hey, how's it going? It's George Pierce here. We're doing assignment number one for solving equations. Stick around if you need some help. Use the timestamps. Let's math it up. Okay, got quite a few questions here today, but they're not really long ones. So let's jump in here quick. Let's start doing them. <laughs> All right, uh, question 1A. Question 1 is simplifying the following expressions by combining like terms. Now, um, I'll identify the like terms and then I'll add them together or subtract them, whatever they need to do. So if we look at 1A, we have x plus x plus x plus x. And x, of course, is a variable and it is a like term because they're all the same variable. So this is simply going to combine into 4x. That's our answer, 4x. 2, or 1b. So this one, we have two different types of like terms. We have the variable y and constants. So we can combine the y variables together and that gives us 4y. We're going to add 8, right? 3 plus 5 is 8. That's our answer for 2b. Uh, sorry, 1b. 1c is now again, we have two types of terms. We have variables and we have constants. And 3n and 2n are both positive positive. Uh, so that's going to be 5n. And the constants are minus 4 and minus 6. So this is going to be minus 10. When we combine them together, that is simplified. Then we are going to do d. Now d is <clears throat> 1d. They have plus 2 plus 3 minus k plus 3k. Again, two types of terms. 2 plus 3 is going to be 5, and we're going to add 2k. So we have negative k plus 3k, right? So it's basically 3k minus 1k, so 2k. Okay. Now, to 1e, negative 2 minus 2b plus 6b plus 3. So if we look at our constants, we have a negative 2 or minus 2 and a plus 3. So that's going to leave us with 1. And then we have for our variables 2, negative 2, and 6, positive 6. So it's going to give us a plus 4b. Now I'm going to make sure that's a b. Plus 4b. 1f. Now 1f is 4p minus 2p minus 3 plus 3p. Now there's only one constant, so we don't need to do anything with that. We just, it's a negative 3. So we have 4p minus 2p, which is 2p plus 3p. 2p plus 3p is 5p. So in total, there's 5p minus 3. That's our answer to this question. Moving on to the next ones, we're solving some equations. Now we got to solve the following one-step equation. So we have a bunch of ones that slowly get harder. The first one is n plus 3 minus 5. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to isolate our variable by doing the opposite to n. Right now, n's being added by 3, n plus 3, so we're going to minus 3 from both sides, and rewrite our question is n, lowercase n, is equal to 5 minus 3, n is equal to 2. It's really nice to line up our equations and also show your work. Oh, uh, this one, cancel here, cancel. 
plus 3 minus 3. All right, 19 plus x is equal to 28. 19 and x are being added together, so we're going to subtract 19 from this side, subtract 19 from this side, and we're left with, after we cancel these two out, positive 19 and negative 19, we're left with x is equal to 28 minus 19, and that would be equal to 28, or x is equal to um, uh, 9. 9? Yeah, 9 x equals 9. That's our answer. Again, lining up our equal signs, making sure we have the two sides of our equation. 84 minus x is equal to 48. So this one we're going to subtract 84 from both sides. Subtract 84. Now, negative x is equal to 48 minus 84 so the difference between 48 and 84 and negative x is going to be equal to negative 40 negative 36 what's the difference between 48 so 44 minus 836, negative 36. And then of course, when you're left in a state place like this, you don't want negative X. Um, you can simply, right, as long as you do the same thing to both sides, you can simply multiply both sides by negative one, right? Negative times a negative is a positive and one times any number is itself. So you can also divide both sides by negative one get rid of that negative sign so let's divide by negative one let's say divide by negative one it doesn't change anything it just changes the x is equal to 36. Um, you can skip those steps if you really understand them but i like to show them just to make sure you don't be like get confused so our answer x equals 36. Uh, 2d r minus 3 equals 6. A nice simple one. So I'm going to plus 3 to both sides of this equation. R is equal to 6 plus 3. Um, R is equal to 9. Nice and straightforward there. To e x minus 23 equals negative 26. Whoa, some integers here. All right, so let's go add 23. Oops, that's a 3. Add 23. And on this side, we want to add 23. So that means x is equal to negative 26 plus 23. And when you add those two together, x will be equal to negative 3. Hmm. Oops, I deleted my 3 backs. x is equal to negative 3. 107, negative 107, is equal to negative 19 plus x. Hmm. All right. Other side of the bracket here, still the same type of problem. So we're going to go um, plus 19, plus 19. Same steps. We're going to add 19 to both sides. So 19, subtract 107 equal to x. These will cancel out, of course. So 19, so x will be equal to 107, 97, 87, 88, negative 88, and of course, we want to just 
flip those around to write x is equal to on the proper side is just kind of nice to do that. F, I'm going to check my math there. F, 2F, negative 88. 2F, negative 88. Okay, I'm just doing mental math and I make mistakes sometimes. All right, 3A, decimals. Ooh, okay. So we want to do the opposite of this. We subtract 5.26. And both sides, negative 5.26, subtract from both sides. On this side, it cancels out, leaving us with x is equal to 7.76 minus 5.26. And we can do that math. x is equal to, let's say that's 2.76, right? 2, 2.5. 5, 6, 2.5, x is equal to 2.5. That's my answer there. x is equal to 2.5. 5, 2, 5, 0. Yep, okay. 2, 3, b. Negative. So it's negative 6.1. We want to do the opposite. We want to add we're going to get rid of that 6.1 so we want to add 6.1 both sides add 6.1 and on this side it cancels out and then we are left with k is equal to negative 3.1 plus 6.1 and of course that would be equal to k is equal to um, so it's three, k is equal to three. Nice. And C, oh, three C. All right, do the opposite again, plus 42.3 minus X is equal to, oops, that's not what I want to do. Plus 42.3 on both sides, plus 42.3 cancels out there it leaves us with negative x is equal to 26.83 plus 42.3 so negative x is equal to what's that 68 point no, 69 point one three sixty nine point one three divide by negative one divide by negative one x is equal to sixty nine point one three negative sixty nine point one three sixty nine is my math correct there so C3C, 69.13 it is. All right, let's move on to that next one here. One, four, three D, three D. R plus one half is equal to two and one twelve. Oh my goodness, fractions haven't seen fractions in a little while. All right, so r plus one half. So we're going to have to subtract one half, one third, sorry, from both sides. Subtract one third, whoops, one third. And this is going to be r. That's a weird r. r is equal to two and one third. 12 minus one third. All uh, right, so that is lowest common denominator would be 12. So that would be R is equal to, well, let's do the math here. So this is gonna be 25 twelfths. 
25 twelfths subtract times four times four, four twelfths. Twenty-five twelfths subtract four twelfths, which would be R would be equal to twenty one twelfths. Twenty one twelfths or R is equal to one and um one and nine twelfths. One and one, two thirds, one and three quarters, one and three quarters. Twenty one subtract twelve is nine. Nine twelfths is three quarters, one and three quarters. Ooh, I haven't done that in a while. Three D. One and three quarters. All right. All right, let's do a <clears throat> n is equal to one and one third. Neg subtract one and one third is equal to one sixth. So we're gonna go add one and one third on both sides. Add one and one third. And that means that will cancel out, so we have n is equal to one sixth plus one and one third. So n is equal to that is two sixths. Let's cross these out. Two sixths. Find that common denominator. Six and multiply by two by two. And then we can combine n is equal to one and one half, which is three sixths, which is one half, right? Three sixths, one half. Um, that's our answer. F. Two and one half, so subtract two, one third. Both sides, subtract two, one third. And that will cancel out. And X will be equal to eight. Subtract two and one third. Now I can do this mentally, right? Eight subtract two is gonna be six. And then subtract one third, we'll have five and two thirds. Five and two, thir two thirds. I don't need to do too much there. X is equal to five and two thirds. Okay, four two-step equations. Now, first we want to isolate the term that has the variable, and then we want to isolate the variable itself. So two steps here. First step. So first step is we're gonna add four, add four, which will give us three n is equal to, um, and we can add, well, let's, let's draw this up here for now, plus four, right up there beside it. So that's 27, three n is equal to 27, 27. We can divide each side by three. Interesting, all right. Divide each side by three, so that cancels out and n is equal to nine. I didn't do any, okay. <clears throat> Plus nine 
negative 4x plus 9. Negative 4x is equal to negative 57 plus 9. Negative 4x is equal to negative 57 plus 9. Negative 4x is equal to 57, 48, negative 48. And then we can divide each by 4, each by negative 4, actually. And then negatives cancel out, and we're left with x is equal to 48 divided by 4, which is 12. x is equal to 12. All right, next one, C. So first we wanna add 19 plus 19 and that will cancel that out. We can add 19 to this side because we wanna do the same thing on both sides. That's not 19, add 19 to this side. And then we are left with 11 X is equal to 399 plus 19, which is 418. 418. Now I'm guessing well, I have to divide each side by 11. What's 418 divided by 11? So x will be equal to 418 divided by 11, which has got to be like 39 or something. Well, 418 divided by 11, 38, close, is equal to 38. Okay, next one, D. So we're dividing now, we gotta undo the divide. So we're gonna minus four from both sides, three minus four, and we are going to cancel, and we're left with x over 9 is equal to um, x over 9 is equal to negative 1. And then we can times by 9 on both sides. And this side they cancel out, leaving us with x is equal to negative 9. One, negative one times nine is, nine is negative nine. D, E, negative two plus 11 M is equal to negative 223. So we're gonna plus two on both sides, plus two. On this side it cancels out. On that side it's left with 11 m is equal to negative 231. 231, let's divide both sides by 11. And that will be equal to m is equal to 231. Is it 21? 21 times 231 divided by 11, 21, negative 21, F, ooh, some integers, negative 7 and minus 9 is equal to negative 93, so first want to add 9, get rid of, isolate the, isolate the term with has x in it, plus 9, plus 9, so that means negative 7n will be equal to 93 plus 9. 93 plus 9 is 84. Negative 7 is negative 84. We can divide by negative 7, negative 7, and that will cancel out there, leaving us with n is equal to 12. 1270 and then two more, yeah, 12. N is equal to 12. F, five, A, all right. Same thing, but now we got some decimals involved. 
multiplying decimals. I'm gonna make sure I use my calculator on this one because, yeah. All right, here we go. We gotta, we wanna subtract 0 0.8, subtract 0 0.8 from both sides. On this side, it cancels out, leaving us with 3.3 .3 is equal to, oh, 3.3p is equal to um, 8.91 and that would be divide by 3.3 both sides this side that cancels out leaving us with p is equal to 8.91 divided by 3.3 uh, 2.7 I'll check that. 8.91 divided by 3.3 .3 equals 2.7, okay. B, oof, okay, plus 5.9, right? Do the opposite, both sides, to get rid of that term, plus 5.9. This side it gets there, so we're left with 8.8a is equal to 170 plus 170.98 plus 5.9. So that's 175.98, 175.98 plus 98. 98 plus 90, 188. Okay, so divide both sides by 8.8 .8 to isolate our variable. The side it cancels out, leaving us with A is equal to 176.88 divided by 8.8. 176.88 divided by 8. 176.88 divided by 8.8. .8. Oh. 5.9. 176.88 divided by 8.8. 176.88 .8. divided by 8.8. .8. There we go, 20.1. 20 20.1. 20 Didn't type that into my calculator properly, I suppose. Um, next one. So we're subtracting. So we want to add 8.5 to both sides. This side it cancels out, leaving us with 5.8 n is equal to 188.5 divide 5.8 divide 5.8 this side would cancel out leaving us with leaving us with n n will be equal to 188.5 5.8 188.5 divided by 5.8 is equal to 32.5. 32.5. That's a weird 5. 5. D. Okay. Let's add 0 0.04, 0 0.4 to both sides. We want to get rid of this to isolate that term. So 2.6x is equal to 0 0.64 plus 0, back, um, 1.04. 1.04 divide by 2.6, 2.6, divide by 2.6. 
104 divided by 26 is 4. X is equal to 4. Two point six, no, not four. Point four. One point, yeah. So Whoa. one point zero four divided by two point six. 1.04 divided by 2.6 equals 0.4. Okay. And my brain, 0.4. Okay. <laughs> Always questioning myself, which is good because you want to make sure you're getting the correct answer. Um, 1 n divided by 2 minus 3.1 equals negative 3.95. All right. Wow. Let's add... 3.1 to both sides. Add 3.1. On this side, it cancels, leaving us with n divided by 2 is equal to um, negative 3.1 plus 3.95 plus 3.1 would be negative 0.85. 0 0.85 negative. That's the difference between these. That's negative and then one. Times two to get rid of the two. That two cancels out and we're left with n is equal to negative 0 0.85 times 2, which would be 1.7. 1 1.7. 1 170. 85, 160 plus 170. F. We are going to subtract. 7.85 from both sides. Subtract 7.85. Whoa. From both sides. On this side, it cancels out, leaving us with P over negative 4.5 is equal to 7. 7. Um, negative 7, sorry. So let's multiply by negative 4.5 times negative 4.5. And that cancels out. So P is equal to negative 7 times negative 4.5. Negative 7 times negative 4.5. 280 plus 35. 315. 31.5. 31.5. Am I right? 7 times 4.5. 7 times 4, oops, 7 times 4.5, 31.5, okay. Thirty-one point five, one point seven, four. It's always good to check your answers. It's always nice when you get stuff right. That's it. That's the worksheet. I hope you got a bunch of those questions correct. I hope you struggled a bit, because that means you're learning. And you gotta keep learning. Remember to math it up, check it out. See you later.